Hey everyone, it's Marion and the O oh Baby Hoop Wreath that I posted a picture of last night in the group. I just wanted to share with you what exactly a quilling tool is, as I've had several questions about that. Let me just show you these quilled roses a little bit so you can admire them along with me. Okay, so here is the quilling tool. This one is offered by Cricut. You can also pick one up at AC Moore, which is a local craft store here on the East Coast, or Michaels carries them as well. This video, I don't know if it's gonna cooperate with me. There you go. You can see the ends there. There's two little teeth. There's a little tiny gap in between. And that is where you're going to put the end of the rose, the paper rose, and then you're going to, once it's attached in there, you don't glue it or anything, you just sl slide it right in there, and then you start quilling, or basically turning the quilling tool. And so it's going to be wrapping around that rose until it's all the way wrapped around, and then once it's wrapped around, you just gently take it off the end of the tool and I don't have one that's not completed, but basically the rose is going to look like this minus all the pulled back edges. And you're gonna ap apply hot glue to the base and then gently place your finger in the center so that the hot glue and the paper and all the edges adhere to one another so you don't have any loose pieces throughout your rose. And then once that's done, I gently pull back the edges to create this effect here. Don't do it too hard because you don't want to rip your paper. Hope that helps. Happy crafting!